Okay, good morning guys. I want to show you something weird that I've debunked, but it had to be done. We're looking out the kitchen window here, and you'll notice there's two purple lights down here in the bush. I've never seen those before, and I was like, what is that? But after 30 seconds of moving around, I realized, wait a minute, that's a reflection from somewhere. And then I turned around, and I'm looking here in the kitchen, and it's pitch black. There are no pink lights anywhere and I'm trying to figure out what's going on and they're still there so I'm like yeah it's reflecting from somewhere then I realized over here in the other room like literally 30 feet away on the floor there's a computer that I set up a month ago that's mining Bitcoin <laughs> and it's got a pink light on it so you can see there's a reflection on the floor but I still couldn't figure out how that reflection was getting over here to the window. I do have a big steel fridge here behind me, which if we turn on the light, you can see. There's the fridge over there. Well, we've got the light on, I'll show you. The computer is way over there on the floor. And then I figured it out. It's this pot. The edge of this pot is somehow catching the reflection from that computer over there. It's the strangest thing. You would never think that that light is coming up the floor and it's not even coming in the direction of the pot. Because the pot is over here, down here, to the side. But I know it's the pot, because if we find the pink light out there, right there, if I put my hand on the pot, the lights disappear. There's my hand on the pot. Take my hand off the pot, the two lights reappear. I just thought it was worth showing you guys some of the stuff I go through to debunk and that that is crazy. I never would have thought a reflection because you don't see any light over here on the pot and it's crazy. There's no light on the floor or reflecting anywhere up here on the counter. You would think you would see that but you don't. Anyway, cool and debunked. Oh, just out for a walk, check the trail cameras and the perimeter directly behind the house, the 90 acre trail. Snowstorm again. I don't know, it's still February. I guess we can expect a lot of this. Keep waiting for spring, but spring is a long ways off yet. And give you guys a mining update. I hit the $300 mark this morning. 21 days I've been mining Bitcoin. And uh, I'm only doing it because the company overcharged me for, for my video card. So, um, yeah, I guess you can't complain, right? If they're gonna charge $2,000 for a stupid video card, but you can make, you know, in a month, 400 bucks back. <laughs> I guess it's not that bad, I don't know. Uh, I did the same thing in, back in 2017, so, but you know what, as long as this bubble keeps going, I'm going to keep mining, and if I get an entirely free card out of it, I feel lucky and privileged to have a new video card right now. Um, Grant's been looking since September, and I just happened to luck into them one night, and they were the expensive ones, which most people at the time didn't want to buy. Now, people will buy anything they can get their hands on, because there are no video cards available. I can't believe this system that's been created, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to get into it, but it's absolutely ridiculous. If they wanted to get these video cards into the hands of gamers and people with home computers, they would send them out to the stores. It would be that simple, right? Walmart would carry video cards, you know, Best Buy, Staples, all these places. You would go in and physically, like we used to have to do, go to the store and 
get your hands on hardware, right? And the guys behind the counter would say, no, you can't buy 12 of these, you can buy one, right? Sign here, like you do when you go buy ammunition for your gun. <laughs> if you've already bought one in the last month, you don't get another one. Okay, Gary's gonna fix this problem that the world has right now with the shortage of computer parts, right? It would be so simple. Forget this online BS where we don't even have people buying up the parts, we have bots, you know? People are writing scripts to go buy a hundred of these at a time. And the companies will tell you, oh, we're, we're addressing it, you know, uh, we're, we're gonna make new mining cards for miners. This is what NVIDIA said this week. That doesn't solve the problem at all because you're using the same chips that you would put in the graphics cards for us. You're gonna now put in their graphics cards and there's a, a, a supply chain limit right now. There's a, an issue with silicon. That's why they can't mass produce these things. So you're gonna take your limited supply, cut it in half and make mining GPUs only. Not a solution and anybody with a grade three education can puzzle that one out. Hey, come here. I gotta film nine more minutes of this. There's been a request. Get over here and chew your stick. Okay, lay down and chew your stick. Ugh, enough of that. <laughs> so I do have a clip the other day. I was back again in the swamp. Uh, my wife and I took the dog for a walk and I tried a new trail. There's still three trails left. I think big trails that I can go on back there. And I'll just show you guys we found something cool. I'll show you guys that now. Just out exploring the trails again. And I've taken a new branch that Gage and I didn't go down yet. I want to show you guys I found a, a blind, a hunting blind. Or a fort. I think it's a hunting blind. We are way back here, as you guys know. So I don't think there'd be kids back here, but definitely could have been hunters in the day. So I'll show you that. So here's what's left of the structure anyway. It's got a tin roof. But we see things like hooks and nails. So clearly rope hanging here. Easy to see the man-made stuff. Tin roof, log wall. Might have been used by the trapper back in the day. Maybe it was just a spot for him to keep warm if he had to spend a night, who knows. Trails are so narrow he can't get, oh, he got by me. For the last 500 yards I had him trapped behind me. Just kept telling him to heal. You guys like this side better? This is my good side. Yeah, I made sure that the, the beard was straight on this side. The other side, I don't care about. Now that's some content right here. Gary walking through the woods. Actually, if you guys were here with me, I can't convey to you guys how beautiful and quiet and peaceful it is out here.
Mostly I can't do that because the dog's running around chewing on stuff and his collar's jangling the whole time I'm recording. But I wish you guys could just come out here, not all of you, just a select few and two or three at a time and just come and sit in the bush with me. It's, it actually is one of the things, all joking aside, that uh, is keeping me kind of sane. You know, just to get out here and it's almost like a meditation. The snow has a smell to it, nostalgic smell. Um, and, and you can hear the snow just landing in the bush. It's quiet, it's, it's almost like staring into a fire. You know, if you've ever had a campfire and you just get lost, mesmerized in the fire, the snow can do the same thing to you. It's very relaxing. I'm kind of down on YouTube lately as a whole. I really love making videos and I really love sharing and I, all of you guys that follow me, I love the conversations and things we have. Um, and watching people's channels, right? I have a dozen channels that are my favorites as well, right? I'm a, a YouTube watcher. And I've, I've said before, you know, I'm so tired or I was so tired of the ads on YouTube. And I've actually become a premium member about three, four months ago. So I pay them my 12 bucks like everybody else and now I get ad-free YouTube. And I guess I want to tell all of you guys that can afford it, do it. If you watch enough YouTube, it's totally worth it. It screws YouTubers like me because I don't get anything from it. Um, the percentage of YouTube money that you make, so you already don't make anything on YouTube, but I probably make, uh, I don't know, $15 a month from YouTube sharing revenue, which is everybody who pays their $12 a month to YouTube. I don't know how many millions of us there are, but I get about $15 a month from that versus, you know, in a good month, the channel here will make four or 500 bucks um, that we, I put everything back into the channel. Transparent, I don't care, this isn't my job. I have a real job. <laughs> Gary doesn't need the money to be honest with you. It's nobody's business, but I don't need the money. <laughs> um, but I'm down on YouTube because even though I don't need the money, I still like to... Uh, I, I guess I like to look at it as a business, right? And I just feel that a lot of YouTubers are complaining and, and saying the same thing that I've noticed in the last year. It's been really tough, guys. There are guys making a living off of YouTube, and I understand exactly their complaints. And, and I'll just tell you guys what it is. I'll let you in on it. Um, so all of our pay has basically been cut in half the last year. Now, if you had a growth in your channel like I did, we doubled. We went from 10,000 subs to 20,000. I didn't notice a huge pay decrease, but we didn't gain any pay from doubling our view times, our subscribers, and all this other stuff. I get the monthly stats and pretty much month on month everything has doubled. And the pay has actually, some months was down a little bit, stayed about the same, but when you look at the analytics for where you should be, it's showing 50% gain in you guys watching and sharing and new people coming in and 50% less pay to where it should be. So for me, it's not a huge deal because like I say, I don't do YouTube for the money other than what we want to put back in and you know, plan trips and things, okay? So that's a little disappointing. Sometimes I think, well, I'd like to go spend 2000 bucks this month and let's go travel across the country and YouTube it, you know? That ain't gonna happen unless Gary just doesn't pays for it. Um, but there are guys out there making a living from this and some of them are shutting down channels now. It's, and if you look at what's going on, YouTube will say, advertisers aren't paying because everybody's at home watching right now, right? There's 10 million more of you watching YouTube than there ever was before. So there's no uh, need for advertisers to pay extra. They don't have to because people are watching. So this is what they're saying. The more of you that watch, the less we get paid. Uh, and it's really a shit system. Not to mention the fact there's no transparency with YouTube at all. So, like they will, uh, I can't explain it. I could show you guys a video where we have, you know, the same number of views, 2,200 views, for example. That's a good range that I get on a, a walk through the woods, okay? 2,200 views. 
Um, same number of thumbs up. 200 people engaged, about the same. I know who you guys are, my favorites. Everybody who's always commenting and chatting. Okay, I know who you guys are, love you all. So I can compare very similar videos. Okay, one video I'll make 26 bucks off of, for example. And then the next one we make seven with the exact same stats. Actually, sometimes even more view time. I don't understand, you know, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube doesn't send me something saying, well, you're running these ads for this much from these people. There's no transparency there. So you're basically just throw your stuff up on YouTube and you take what they give you. They take their 40% right off the top. And uh, it's not a, it's not a great, it's not a great partnership to be in. Anybody with business sense would say, I'm in the dark. I feel like I'm in a closet, right? I just put my stuff up there. And YouTube says at the end of the month, here's your $458, Gary. And I'm like, I have no clue how I made that. <laughs> out there sitting there going, yeah, he made 500 bucks off YouTube. Yeah, I probably put in 140 hours to make that 500 bucks, guys. Uh, behind the scenes editing, you know, when I do a metal detecting video, for example, and this is, that's the series that breaks my heart. I wish you guys would watch the metal detecting. It'll take me a full day to make a metal detecting video. Eight hours in the field, and then two or three hours editing. When I get home, I'll throw it up and I'll make a dollar off of a metal detecting video. And there's some pretty amazing stuff that we find in there. I found stuff that a lot of guys here in Canada aren't finding. Right? You gotta really go out into the wild to get to these 300 year old colonial spots. And lucky for me, I got the old guy Stan, who's usually tromp in the woods with me and does a lot of research. So he's a great metal detecting companion. And I feel really honored and lucky that uh, I have him and John. John is another guy I can call anytime and say, let's go on an adventure. And they, those guys are always ready to go. So we're very lucky on this channel. Because sometimes, to be honest, it's so much work, so much gear to carry. I don't want to do it by myself. I don't want to go by myself. It's just me talking to the camera or the dog. And that gets old kind of quick. So while I'm ranting, <laughs> no, I'm not going to rant. Uh, guys, I started a new series on the channel. And it's not for all of you, okay? I don't expect all of you guys to watch everything I put out. In fact, I don't want all of you to watch everything I put out. That's not true. If you just clicked on it and clicked a thumbs up would be awesome. But don't thumbs down the shit I do that you don't like, okay? I know you don't like everything I do, but it's disheartening and there's no reason. I have never in my life gone on somebody's channel and said, oh wow, this week I didn't like the three videos they put out or in the case of my channel, which is a strange channel. Did anybody ever notice, guys? I have nine different series on the go at a time, okay? You can't go to Gary and pin him down and say, oh, he's the Bigfoot guy. Not gonna happen. This is my hobby channel and I do a dozen different things, okay? So all my point is, I understand you're not gonna like everything I do, that's fine. Um, and they're not made for you. They're made for a couple special friends who, who, who like this genre of what I'm doing, this new hunting series, okay? It's a video game. But it's such an amazing game that we're having fun uh, doing a series on that. So if you don't like it, please don't, you don't have to thumbs down. Just don't watch it, okay? But watch it. So I guess this video is just uh, Gary trying to clear his mind and talk to the camera because I'm having a rough week. Uh, just COVID is, I, I'm so disappointed in our government here in Canada. Everything is locked down here. My little town is locked down. We had an outbreak, an old age home outbreak of 25 people. And so now down in Toronto where they have thousands of new cases a day, they're opening up. But the government is saying, nope, you guys up in the north are still shut down for another two weeks because of this little outbreak. And for me, it's not a big deal. You guys know I've put in the hours and the time living out here in the bush. I don't go anywhere, I don't do anything. But it's starting to get so old at this point, guys. I don't know how much longer even I can do this. And I'm following the rules. I'm arguing with people online in the various groups I belong to. Just hang in there. Hang in there another month, guys. We're all going to get our shots. I'll tell you right now, my wife, frontline doctor, dealing with COVID patients, doesn't have a shot in her arm. And that annoys me more than anything, okay? Because you're putting my family at risk. And we're at the point now where, come on, we're almost into March here and the Canadian government doesn't have our frontline people uh, with shots in their arm. Shame on you, man, shame on you. Even I'm starting to lose hope and faith in the system. And I hate to say that because I have to be a voice of reason here. I have to, 
whether you agree with me or not, some of you agree, some of you don't, I think I've always towed the line of common sense, science, and common sense, basically. <laughs> Let's just stick with common sense, right? You've got people online posting, why are we under lockdown? It's maintained, it's controlled, it's, it's held to hospitals and in old age homes. Yeah, it is, because 90% of us are out here doing the grind of social distancing, staying at home, not interacting with other people, right? We're following the rules, and that's why it's contained. Common sense. Anyway, I don't know. This just seems like this video is turning into a rant. Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll go back to Gage and some sticks. All right, the top of my camera looks like the top of my hat, my microphone, everything's all wet. So I'm gonna sign off and put this camera away, guys. I just wanna say, stick with us. We're still doing all the regular things we do. Don't thumbs down my hunting videos. Watch them. Catch you guys in the next adventure.